them two times. All the way from Michigan, cold outside again as usual. But uh, I'm going to open up a box here for you. Just uh, came in uh, FedEx today. And the, the usual rip stops and everything else in this box uh, that came. Got a big flap open here and a few other dents and things here. Hopefully nothing internal. Got destroyed in the process. I don't think so. It doesn't look too bad. But uh, we'll open this thing up and uh, see what we got inside the box. What do you think? I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, this is the AL-37. And uh, it's going to be a tribute to my grandson, who most of you know passed away in April from a rare genetic disease. And um, also here in Michigan we got the Hudson Center for kids that have disabilities and uh, not only physical but psychological issues. And they do a great thing for the community. I was at their 95th anniversary gala a month ago. And uh, so I'm going to put their liberty information on this airplane and they call it Judson Air. And they take families to different places and so the kids can have some fun. So I'm going to be doing that livery. But in the meantime, why don't we just uh, stop with the chit chat and open up the box. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Debbie's in the box, right there guys, right there, all my friends and compadres and all that, and uh, let's get the rest of this thing out of the box, what do you think, I think it's a good idea, <clears throat> here we go. This is the uh, AL-37 airliner uh, that everybody's been talking about. And uh, do a shout out to Freewing and uh, James. Thanks, bud. Get this here quickly. Get this uh, unwrapped. And Callie's got the information today to get my graphics for it. And uh, it should be pretty good. Now I gotta figure out if this is gonna be a blue tail or a plain white tail. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So I open it up.
in there pretty tight. But uh, no other damage to the box I, mean, I can see anywhere. There. First things first. Construction manual. Oh, we're gonna put this thing together right there. Looks pretty good. Now, if I could only read Chinese, I'd be all set. Oh, we got English version too. So it fits there. And it shows the blue box, the connections, what needs to be, what happens, where to connect what to what. It's all here. Flip the page open so you get the American version. I can read it in American. All right, moving right along. And uh, next up, we've got all the uh, decal sheets right here. Detail sheets. Front and back. So that's all there for you. And how to place them, where to place them, and, uh, and so on. It's got a good detail right here showing you placement on the airplane. All right, carbon rods right here. Got some other things right here. Got some extra strips here for some other things. So that's what it pretty much looks like in the box line. Right there. So, all right, moving right along. Got some uh, foam to tear apart into your get some tape. There. More tape right here. Be careful. Tape. More carbon fiber rod right out of there. Nice piece right there. Lay that there. All right. Now, here we have the left wing. Right there, it's got all the parts in there. Looks like you got the carbon stiffener or plywood stiffener right here. I might uh, spackle that over and make sure that's all nice and clean. They've got all this other detail already on the airplane. How about that? The emergency escape routes shown on the airplane. Okay. Got some other carbon rods in there. Hefty duty landing gear there. That's awesome. That looks really good. So that's one ring. And also in the same place, we've got the, the other wing. wing. No dents, no runs, no hits, no errors. Same thing, I'll probably just spackle this over and sand it nice and smooth and repaint it with the white. And just very cool looking flaps. That'll work for that. Oh, place, look at that. It's going to be pretty good. All in there. So, just going to be doing the unboxing today, no building. We're going to wait for graphics and all. I'm going to do all that. Okay, another piece of the puzzle. I did get the blue tail. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll work with that for what I'm going to do with this airliner for my grandson and the Judson Air Center. So yeah, it's all going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So it looks as if though they did paint this part to make it look this way the way they got it. So got the servo right in here nice and recessed and your screw down points. So that's That'd be the rudder. And it appears we may have to be doing some kind of gluing because they do give you some glue in here. Of course, I'm going to use foam tag, um, the parts that need to be glued. 
and they also have some of this uh, rubber stuff for the battery so it won't slide. And I got some uh, better stuff that I use for cupboards and uh, got that at the local hobby or the local hardware store right down the street. So I'm going to use that. A couple more carbon, carbon rods in here and all your connecting rods and ball link stuff in this one package here. Next. Alright. Evolator. There's a pair of them in this bag. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these out just so we can see the elevators. You got a pack really nice. Foam or separating the two, so we got one elevator there, got the other elevator here. So we got hey, two elevators, one for each side. I don't know about you guys, but I save this stuff because it makes for great packing when you want to pack up the car and you don't want things to get dented or anything like that. So I use this. Well, that's those pieces. Right. Yeah, I wonder what's in between the sandwiches here. Let's see what we got. That's that. Trash cans over there. Two points. Made it. Yay. All right. Oh, the smokes. That goes down in there. Dude, I'm not telling you. That's one heck of a engine that cell there. It's huge. It's very huge. Look at the size of that thing, would ya? And then you got access plate here, two screws to access your your EDF, your fan unit. And it's also got a 20 double delta. 20 dd in the back end of the motor it's probably the person who inspected it to make sure it ran i guess so that's one to sell back here in the package very realistic kind of flattens out here at the bottom like most engine to sell is doing full size right there that's awesome There's number two. Same deal. That's really nice. That's a good hefty weight to it there. That's two. Two of those down and uh, a fuselage. That's what's next, the fuselage. Oh man. Look at this. That's the back side. Right. It's got a few little dents and whatnot in there, but not, not too shabby. Not really that bad at all. All the wires and so on that are they're back in there. I'm thinking of possibly putting some lights back in here that shine up onto the rudder so you can see the the tail surface, like a lot of the airliners do, they put those lights that shine up. So I may be doing that. Also, um, 
the model sounds ink sound system in the in here as well and see what they got for me to to do that with so more stuff down the line that's the back end and the other part the front end all right oh. so we got the front end going right up there Got your light up here, got one at the bottom, comes here up in there, and yep, you got a couple little pilots in there, yeah, pretty interesting. Right up in there you got a couple pilots. So, I got a small kitchen, so this thing's massive. This thing is massive. So we'll have to uh, get this and then the radome on the front. I'm going to use a, the radome tan color for the radome and paint that on there and, and so on. And then again, I'm going to have this dedicated to my grandson and have Cali Graphics do something up for me on that. And that's all forthcoming. I'm just going to take my time with, the, with this airplane. Got your little tab here so they can pull the, the top off with. Oh, they have wowzers. That's cavernous. Lots of area to do whatever you like to want to do with this thing. All, all in there. It's it's huge. It's huge, guys. All up in there. You put my hand in one end and stick it out together, <laughs> just like that. The EC5 connectors. I, I really like the EC5 connectors. It's my favorites. And have them. For, for a long time, you need C5s for the, the big stuff, EC3s for the small stuff. But uh, that's my unboxing, guys. I uh, don't know what else to uh, tell you about, about this until I actually start building it. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a really good deal. And get this thing motoring along, building it, and uh, get the graphics from Cali and start working on the graphics. Anyways, there you have it guys, the unboxing of the AL-37. Enjoy.